Hello, second grade. It's nice to have you here. Hopefully you played some poison. And if not, you can go to the poison video and uh, do that and have some fun. All right, let's warm up our voices with some shamrock pictures. I am going to share my screen. Doesn't matter how many times I do this. I always forget how. Okay. Um, and we are going to um, follow the pictures of shamrock. This is a shamrock. It's another word for a clover. All right, let's try A. One, two, ready, go. A. Let's do E. One, two, ready, go. E. Let's do I, one, two, ready, go. I, I like that one. Let's do O, one, two, ready, go. O, and let's do one more. Ooh, oh, I like these ones that are like triangles. One, two, ready, go. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, let's come on back. Let's stop sharing. Let's be back. Stop. Okay, nice to see you. Okay, I have a new song for you, and I'm going to sing it to you, and I want you to see if you can think why somebody might sing this song, what this song might be used for. It goes like this. I see the moon, and the moon sees me. I bless the moon and the moon bless me. Why might you sing that song? There's a hint in the song. The hint is the moon. What time of day is a moon out? Night. And what do you do at night? You sleep. And what is a kind of song you sing at night to help people sing? Sleep. A lullaby. So this song is a lullaby. Let's see if you can be my echo. I see the moon and the moon sees me. I bless the moon and the moon bless me. Very noisy here at Gill Hall today. If you hear all that noise, maybe you can hear it, but I don't know. There's some crashing and banging going on. I don't know. All right. Let's see if we can do the whole song. You ready? Ready, sing. I see the moon and the moon sees me. I bless the moon and the moon bless me. All right. I have here a glockenspiel, and I've kind of set up this little bottom here so we can see. I see the, do you see that? I see the, we have high, medium, and low for I see the. And we learned something very special recently about this pattern. We've got so me low, but we found out low's real name. Do you remember what it is? It is doe. It is so and me's baby brother. And if you look at this glockenspiel, you can see how there's so and then a space and then me and then a empty spot and then dough. And that goes with how they like to hang out on the power lines. Do you remember? Because first of all, what is dough's hand sign? Like this. Dough. Can you do it with me? Dough. Nice. And we've got so me dough. Can you sing it? So me dough. Now, if you remember, 
so is 16, me is six, and little Doe is only three years old. And he loves his big brothers so much, he thinks they are the best. And he runs all around, following them everywhere, and they are very annoyed. And he has learned, as just like his brother me did, how to be very sneaky. Let me get a staff here. All right, so got some power lines for a staff. And today, let's see, I'm going to put So's belly on the one, two, three, third space. There it is. If So is on the third space, you remember what Me's going to do. Me's going to go on the second space right below his brother. That way he can't get in trouble. We have so, we have me, and we are going to have Doe here on the first space. Because he wants to be just like his brothers, but he doesn't want to get in trouble. Same thing if we put them on a line. I'm going to put so da, 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 on the fourth line. If I put so on the fourth line, one, two, three, four. Remember, you'll always count from the bottom to the top. If so is on the fourth line, then me is going to be on the third line. And then Joe would be on the second line. What about La? Let me get a different color marker for La. Because remember, she wants to be different. So, if so, me, and Doe are on spaces. La, she's going to want to go on a line. And she's going to go on the line right above so. So, in this instance, one, two, three, fourth line. There she is. Okay, right about here. If so, I forgot to make a circle. If so, me and Doe are on lines, then La is going to want to go on a space. And she's going to want to go right here above so. Like this. There you go. All right, my friends. I have a little game that will go with our... Um, so me and Joe, it's called good egg and bad egg. And I have a bunch of eggs with patterns. And if the pattern is so me, Joe, then it's a good egg. If it is not so me, Joe, it is a bad egg. So we have to figure it out. Now here's how we can tell. If it's so me, Joe, then they're all going to be the same. So either lines and spaces, and only one apart. If it's not so me dough, there might be something else thrown in there. So let's look at this one. What do we have? We've got line, line, space. So is that so me dough? No, that's a bad egg. How about this one? Line, line, line. They're all lines. Are they all one apart? They are. That's a good egg. I'm going to mix these up. I don't know if the kids who did these last, because sometimes we do these in groups of music. I don't know if the kids who did them had them organized. Oh, this one's tricky. Is this so me dough? No. How come? Because so, see that has an S on it, so they're saying that so, it needs to be the highest one. So this is not so me dough. That's a tricky one. That's a bad egg. How about this one? Line, line, line. One apart? Yes, good egg. This one. Line, line, line. One apart? Yes, good egg. This one. Space, space, space. One apart? Yes, so me do. Good egg. So me do. Good egg. How about this one? Line, space, line. Bad egg. This one. 
space, whoops, line, space, line. Bad egg. How about this one? Line, space, space. Bad egg. I don't think I mix these up very well. How about this one? How about this one? Okay. They are all spaces, space, space, space. Are they all one apart? <laughs> no, look, these two are two apart. So this is a bad egg. This was another tricky one. They tried to trick you. Okay, one more. Line, line, line. Is that a good egg? No, because me has to go down for it to be so me dough. This is so, so dough. I tried to trick you a little bit. All right. If you are in the music room, you can break up into groups and sort the eggs into good eggs and bad eggs. And if you are at home, great job doing them with me. I don't have them for you to do at home. Sorry. All right. Let us. Uh, sing music time is over ready music time is over but everything's okay we'll be back together on another day music time is over but you don't have to get in line thank you for the music now I'm feeling fine. Thank you so much. See you next week. Bye.